I'm going to show you what I'm up to here. When uh, in the last video that I put up, you saw the uh, Allen field, five acres all planted. <clears throat> you may remember that I talked about I ran out of seed before I finished it, and I guesstimated what I would need to uh, finish it up and went and bought seed. And here's what happened. I got that much left in here and I had a choice of vacuuming it out yeah with a vacuum cleaner putting it in a bag and uh, watching the mice get in it through the year and throwing it in next year and knowing that it won't gonna be worth much because germination percentage would drop considerably on it uh, it'd get old so anyhow I decided that I'll go plant it Come on out here with me and I'll show you the world's smallest soybean field. Alright, here we are at the world's smallest soybean field. As you can see, I've still got some ruts and ridges, but uh, I'm not going to mess with hooking up that uh, field cultivator and smoothing all this out. I'm just going to drill this seed in here. And let the drag chains uh, do as best they'll do. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, drill's ready to go. I'm ready to go. If the tractor cranks, that means it's ready to go.
All right, I'm gonna try an experiment. <clears throat> Ground's rough. Uh, got weeds on it, and it's hard. I wanna see if this thing, if I can use that down pressure again, like I got away with over there in the five acre field. I'm gonna jack the seed rate way up. Now, let's see if we can get it to go in this ground. I'd rather put the seed in the ground and put it in a bag. So let's see what happens. I slowed down real slow in the five acre field. I usually plant in uh, fifth gear. I put it in fourth. It gave time to keep these things in the ground. And it looks a lot like going in. I want to go look at this. All right, there's some seed on top of the ground. Now, this ground's hard as a rock, but there's seed on top of the ground there, there's seed on top of the ground there, and there, and there. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going in very deep. Let's see, that spot right here, that's a row that's, yep, there's seed. Hmm. Hey, there's... Interesting. None. <laughs> Wonder where they went. <laughs> I mean, there's one on top of the ground. There's one. There's one that was down in the ground. I mean... Anyhow, I'm going to do it. Sometimes seed on top of the ground will uh, actually germinate and shoot a root down. But as I walk back up here, I don't see as much of it on top of the ground as I did down there. So I may have it in the ground. And as far as this weed mess goes, uh, let these beans get up about yay tall. I come spray this stuff. Yeah, let's try another pass back up that way. All right. Yeah, this will be a fun combine ride. We won't drink no coffee while we're combining these beans. Okay, this is an experiment. <clears throat> and like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. Well, four passes, that one's overlapped a little bit. And, you know, for sure, if, if we get beans in this little spot, you won't be drinking no coffee in the combine because this land is rough. But a lot of them went in, a lot of them didn't. I've seen beans laying on top of the ground sprout and grow before, so we'll see what we get. Now, it's be sweet. I know that'll work. 
because I cut that land up and all them beans are in, in the ground under the dirt.